Alright guys, and welcome back to more Shin Megami Tensei Double Survivor 2 Record Breaker. And as you can see, we can immediately go into the next battle. And it looks like we can hang out with Eo and a boy, which is an event, which is a new event. And the thing is, we needed to watch an event with Eo to rank her up to rank 4. But as you've seen at the end of the last episode, we were able to rank her up at the end of that battle, which was nice. So we don't really need to hang out with her. What we really need to do is hang out with Atome. But right now, I really want to get this fight out the way. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Before we even do anything, I think I'm going to make a trip to the Compendium to get back one of my stronger demons that I had to use to fuse up. I'm going to get back the Franz, who has Aggie dying. Mana Stream, Holy Dance, and then he has Force Repel. Oh yeah, we gotta get this dude back. The Thrones, welcome back, bro. We, I had to get him back, dude. I just didn't have money, so I just waited until the next story battle. I just, I didn't want to grind too much money until I actually fought and got money from the story battle that way, and then bring him back. And what we want to do with the Thrones is, I don't know, put him on a good team. He's got Agidon, Holy Dance, Recarm. I guess we'll see for this next fight. Right now, the, the last team I had worked out perfectly. It worked out really good. So what we want to do, I guess, is save the game. And now we'll be on our way. Whew, excuse me. I had to yawn there. And now we will be on our way, like I was trying to say before, before I yawn, to the next event. Yamato approaches. It seems he was waiting for you. Ah, I've been waiting for you. Mizar is above. <laughs> I assume you're prepared? Then let's ascend to the roof. Okay, I'm going. Very well. Do not let your guard down. Alright, bro, we got you. Oh my god, that dude looks... He's like, oh, please let me go! Let me go, man! Let me go, dog! He's like, no, no, Miser, where you going, bro? Where you going, bro? <laughs> what the heck kind of horror movie monster is this thing? Is he trying to eat Mizar whole? He's still fighting it. It is impressive. Come on, guys, we don't have time to get freaked out. We have to stop it. I agree. Wait, look there! Mizar's hanging onto the building to keep from being eaten. If we cut off the tentacles, it won't be able to hold out anymore. All right. So we need to hit the tentacles? But what if it splits? Point. Attacking the main body caused it to split, so the tentacles may split too. The same thing will happen if we leave even one of them alive. We have to destroy every last one. What if we stone one and then attack it and then break it? Would that count as it splitting? I mean, we stoned it. How could it split if it's stoned, right? Let's go. We don't have much time before the dragon stream reverts to its original state. If we can't defeat Mizar before the dragon's gone, we won't have a chance. How about we destroy the building, preventing this guy from hanging on? Come on, guys. Let's just destroy the building. We don't want to do this. We lose if time expires. So this is a timed battle. And then of course, we got the the OG you you lose if all the allies are defeated. That's not a problem. But that time like really? We got time. Did they really need to add time though? Oh, but look at this anti most action going on. Evil wave, chaos wave, evil wave. Oh, you know who you know who's got to go attack these evil wave people, right? Someone with wing flight and then possession. So definitely. Oh, this dude. You know, a good person would actually be Joe. Or someone who has really good physicals that can pierce through that. Does anyone know physicals on this map battlefield? Dude. Oh, yeah, and those things split apart if we use physicals. So we need more magic users. All right, so let's let's just take a look at everybody. This dude is evil bind, wing fly, evil bind. So we really want to probably take out these guys on the side before we even make an approach over to the right, or unless we can put people on the right side too. No, we have to move over here by ourselves. 
So it's the same dudes over here. So I'm thinking like once we make an approach to the right tentacle, I guess we should take out these guys over here first before we even make an attempt to take out this. Cause those dudes, look at this. Evil wave using motherfuckers, dude. Chaos wave using mother. We gotta be prepared for that, dude. Unless what I can do is like have someone come over here, use possession, get rid of them, summon a new demon, and then have someone else come over there with their own demon really quick and basically swap in for a possession user and then knock out this dude. Ah, oh, that actually doesn't sound too bad. But you know what? We're not looking at the boss. We haven't been looking at the boss. How do you look at the boss? So obviously he has multi-strike. He has multi-strike. Oh, you got multi-strike, do you? You got multi-strike, huh? You know what? We cracked a particular skill last time. Alright. And to be honest, I think most of you already know where we got. It was no physical. Alright. And it don't look like he got pierced either. <laughs> so hell yeah, we're gonna give him no physical. Um You know what I'll do? I'm gonna give my magic users though, the ones that uh, are going to approach the boss because the, it looks like the boss is gonna be using primarily physical attacks. Hold on, let me look at his skills again. Yeah, force drain. We can't use force on him. So we need fire. So I need all my main dudes to have fire. So definitely, well I got holy dance so I don't really need Agidine. I can give that to somebody else like maybe Fumi. You know what? Fumi would actually be better fit for fire dance let's give fire dance to Fumi can she get fire and no she can't equip it because you need strength but you know who can equip that your girl EO would be able to okay hmm I think I'm gonna say goodbye to Joe for this fight yeah, I think I am gonna say goodbye to Joe for this fight. I need someone who can actually do dish out damage like EO. EO's gonna be in there for this fight. So, what I'm gonna give her... She's gonna have Fire Amp, so she's, she won't need Blitzkrieg. Although it would be useful. You know, let's give her Fire Amp and Fire Boost. Because we want to be able to knock these guys out super quick. Because we got a time limit, right? So we're gonna be dishing out... We have to be dishing out damage super quickly. She's get, we're gonna give her Agidine. It's high fire damage, and then on top of that, it's not gonna eat up a lot of her MP. Fumi doesn't really matter because she has a tyrant, and the tyrant can recover her MP as long as she dishes out a lot of a, a good amount of damage. She should be able to recover MP uh, nicely. Tailwind, Keita, Keita is gonna yeah, he has to keep that. Joe has weaken. Can I get weaken? If I can get weakened, that's good. And I'll give Blitzkrieg to her. So she's gonna have Agidine. I should probably take Daichi's uh, Diorama. Who has Diorahan? Fumi? Suzaku has Media. But does he really need it? No, he doesn't. So we can actually give it to... He can't equip it. I know he can't. Yeah. He needs 12 magic. He's not gonna need Media, but we would want to have Recarm for him. Because he's got Holy Dance, he's going to be slanging all kinds of nonsense. So we're going to give Suzaku... We're going to give Suzaku... Recarm, if I can find it. Yeah, there we go. Because we have Affection, we're not going to really need a um, Media. We have Affection, we already have someone who can heal. We have two people on our team that can heal already. So definitely Recarm for him. And then he's going to have... Why not? He might as well get Miragi. Miragi and Holy Dance. He's got Mana Stream and Extra Bonus, no Physical. He's gonna be taking on the them the main tentacle things. And then the other dudes are gonna be taking out the, uh, what do you call them? The them, the side demons, like the Abaddon and the Bad Kappas. So definitely Suzaku needs to be attacking the main tentacles. Hectate, he nullifies Physical, so that's really good. He's gonna nullify Physicals. 
Maybe I should give Fumi something too. She's gonna be a main damage dealer too. Eo's gonna be playing backup. No, 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 no. Damn. This is tough. So you know what? I am actually gonna give Kresnik. I'm going to give Kresnik to Fumi. Gonna get rid of that Tobiu for Takimi Kazuchi so we can double up with Eo and then still be able to move a, a nice amount of distance. Keita is actually gonna start off with this crew because he needs to move up to wipe out those guys up there so he can crack that anti-most from this guy. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to think a little bit more. Once we come back, I'm pretty much just going to have everything ready to go. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right, guys. So I am finally back after setting everything up the way I want it to be. And pretty much what I have done was actually just set up EO all the way. She's got Drain, Media, and Iguodine. Uh, she's got Fire and Fire Boost. She's basically just going to be doing mad damage with Fire against those tentacles. And then we got Daichi in instead of Keita because... Daichi has more agility, and then of course he has more vitality as well, and he's pretty much, that's all I have, that's the only reason why I switched uh, Keita with Daichi, was because Daichi was better suited for multi-strike, and he's going to be able to land more hits, which means more uh, chances to land stone plus against these enemies we're going against, and then of course, that's pretty much it, I got Skatash on uh, your boy Suzaku, he's going to be putting in work. Uh, she's got pretty good uh, magic, stronger magic than him, like, their holy dances is gonna put in work. The holy dance team is just pretty much there to wreck shit. <laughs> They're gonna be there to wreck shit. And then of course Fumi, uh, no, Eo has Taki Mikazuchi, so she can attack twice if she needs to, and then on top of that she has True Phantasma, so if, if possible, we can put ourselves in a position to attack, and then True Phantasma to get next to one of our allies, and then if they're near enemy, we can attack again. Of course, we, we would have to position ourselves very well. So what we want him to do is get anti-most from Abaddon. Uh, he's also going to... Uh, Daichi's also going to be able to crack 4 Amp because Suzaku has it set to crack 4 Amp. And they have dual crack, so that's going to be good. And then she's going to... I don't really care about anything else. I just really want anti-most. <laughs> so what we're going to do, first of all, let's set the positions. Um... Fumi is actually going to be, she needs to move down, she needs to be making her way down, um, Suzaku, alright, Eo can be right there, and Daichi, you're going to be on your way down there, bro, alright, so, now what we can do is pretty much just set everything up accordingly, so I apologize for that, like, long session of me thinking, I just... This is a Septentrion fight, and we know there are thousands of surprises that happen during Septentrion fights, so screw it. Here we go. I just had to make sure I was prepared and ready, so without further ado, let's start the fight. I'm probably overlooking something. I probably did overlook something. First of all, let's see his attack range. Oh my goodness, really? So if I go one, two, three... If I go straight for it, I should be okay. Oh my goodness. So if I go straight forward, I should be okay. Let's go everyone. If we cut off those tentacles, I'm sure Miser will fall. So Kakulin. So we're definitely gonna get Eo over there immediately. Now we just have to avoid <laughs> these zones. Oh my god, please. So we can go in front of Suzaku. Yeah, that's the only safe zone right there, Suzaku. And then we would have to go one, two, three, four. Oh, you better, yeah, I think. No, she can't attack right now. Oh, she can't attack it. Oh, let's see. Safe in front of Suzaku. Hurry up and let the dragon eat you! So what we want to do now, come up here. 
Usaka possession. We're gonna force dude to see me in combat. Let's get rid of his attack rating. All right, and we're gonna attack this dude. We actually have to assassinate him because if we do multi strike right here, um, GG. <laughs> Pretty much GG if we don't uh, do the right thing. Assassinate should kill him. I'm pretty sure assassinate should kill him. I do have pierce on, right? I should have pierce. Woo! My god! I do have pierce on, right? Drain hit, and then... Oh my god, dude. I'm on low health, so his life drain is actually gonna do more. Oh my god. It's gonna kill him. Yup! <laughs> because he was on low health, he was able to kill him. Wow! Life drain does more if they're about to die, which is insane. Jeez. 4 cent, we got it. Don't need to worry about the dude coming up at us. So, But just in case, we're actually going to heal my Pusaka. Holy cow, dude. This thing is annoying, just get eaten! He can't attack behind him, right? Yeah, he can, so I actually need to be two steps behind him. Come see me in combat, boy! Alright, now we can multi-strike. Daichi, if he got a critical hit, he would've definitely killed him. Multi-strike should kill here, though. So we're just gonna regularly attack. You give my anti most. Daichi was able to clutch it out. Anti most. Huh. Stone plus is really good, but taking 50% less damage in everything except for physical is really good right now. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna do it. I think I might do it. Nah. Uh, I mean, I really need drain hit for sure. I need pierce for sure. And I need stone as an option select. If we can't do enough damage, maybe we can physically, or uh, put a physical ailment on there. Oh, do not move, because that dude goes next. Eo should be able to make her move now. You know it's messed up? I think if I move right here... If I move right here, this dude can attack, because it's a range of four, right? Oh, that's baloney, yo! I'm actually setting myself up if I go right there. Wow, what kind of... Okay, you know what? You know what I can do? I can go up and attack and Phantasma. Of course, that's if I kill this dude in one go. He don't need to attack this guy anyway. Alright, Agidine. Assassinate. He has Pierce, so it should work. But you know what, we're gonna drain. Because we had used uh, True Phantasma before and we need MP to, to keep using it. So we're gonna drain. Oh, um, we're going to assassinate. Uh. Woo! Boom! I can't believe this dude is hanging on to nothing. This dude is hanging on to no health. So you know what, we're gonna drain him for for our victory. Dude, he better get drained. If he doesn't get drained, I'm gonna be extra mad. You know what, I should drain him too. I should just drain him, just in case. I don't want to waste all that MP. So drain, drain, do nothing. Boy's drain was correct. This dude was literally... Oh, wow, we got the holy set. Good stuff. But he split off! It's separated. We need to beat those ones while they're in the small stage. She can attack again because she has Taki Mikazuchi. But before we do that, we need to do Kakula. So we can get her out of the range of that other tentacle's attack. And attack this one. You know what? I just want to test something out first. 
Um, I'm actually gonna heal with EO this turn. I'm actually gonna see if I can use multi-strike on these guys. Or physical moves. Let's keep this up. We need to defeat them while they're little. Oh my god. We actually broke them. Interesting. So I'm not gonna do anything. Am I still in the rank of his attack if I move up just to attack that guy? No. Alright, cool. So Suzaku can just move up one. He can actually move up two. Right next to the guy. Still be safe. And then of course you know what it's gonna do? We got the uh the Holy Dance crew. The Holy Dance crew on deck. The Holy Dance crew. Holy Dance crew coming in strong, dude. Obviously magic. <laughs> of course. What else would I use it for? So we need to actually move up there. This should not be a problem. Fumi needs to get up here, I believe. To crack ice drain for one of these guys. So Fumi should be safe from those guys right there. And then on top of that, we have a time limit, so I forgot about that. That dude's gonna... If I move up too far, he's going to attack. So he can't reach right there, so I can go... Right here. So my next turn, I should be able to attack him. Um, we're actually going to move up a little... No, not that far, but like right here. Daichi's going to move up. Daichi's actually going to get rid of his wing flight man. Should I give him B-Frones? Should I give him B-Frones? Huh, maybe I should give him B-Frones. I mean, why not? Why not? I completely forgot about putting him in my party. So there he is. He's in my party now. Alright, Suzaku. Had to take out the other tentacle and make this dude fall. Hmm, should I do Miragi or Holy Dance? Let's use Miragi with Suzaku. And we're gonna Holy Dance up a stone with Skatash. Holy Dance with Hectate. One, two, three, on! Block it! He said, Who are you attacking? Who oh, you are attacking? Do you know who I am? <laughs> I am Hecate. Hecate. Did he hang on again? Oh crap, this guy just won't let <laughs> learn to let go. You gotta be kidding me, right? Man. I can't even attack again. But I can't attack this guy. Let's get this dude out of there. So you know what? I think I have to go to the other arm again too, right? That's a bunch of boo shit, man. Agidine might as well. What does he have to lose? Dude, Fumi's button is just stuck on clutch. Every dance goes for like the dude in the middle. Oh wow, she gets her turn back super fast because of True Phantasma. Holy cow. So she'll be able to take out the other guy. So it looks like I'm going to have to run back here and take this guy out. Damn it. Alright, Daichi. You know what? Oh wow, she gets her turn back quick because he has Kakulin. Wow! These true Phantasma nerds are really good. These Chrono Phantasma nerds. <laughs> Alright. Let's Krieg for days. Agidine for sure. We're going to drain. And then of course we're going to assassinate for some damage. Just for some damage. Woo! That was a lot of damage. So he's gonna have to assassinate again. We're both gonna. Ooh. 
damn. I just thought about it. I think the winning, I think the winning hit matters. Like if it's a physical hit, it splits off, right? You know what? Assassinate. Obviously, we needed to split off, right? All right, cool. So it doesn't really matter if I use physical attacks. That's the goal: is to split it off. I was thinking, oh, physical attacks are get, just gonna make it worse. Thing is, we really need to do it. So right now, EO, EO, you know what? EO can basically save some time here, attacking this guy. We're gonna heal inside of battle. We're not gonna heal outside because healing outside of battle prolongs our turn. And I just want to save some time. And then on top of that, I didn't move because of Kakulin's, uh... I save even more turn costs because I didn't move. This entire time because she got to turn back super quick because we moved before. So again, Drain. And then he's going to multi-strike. So Meteor should come out first because it has healing priority, which is great. He's going to Drain to get MP back so we can possibly continue to do true uh, Phantasma if we need it. He stoned him. That's even better. Yo, we... Dude, this is great. This is going in our favor so bad with all these these top tier demons in our party just wrecking havoc. It's insane. So definitely attack and then attack to break them. That critical hit better break them. This Takamikazuchi is going ham. This Takamikazuchi paired up with Kakulin. Dude, this is unfair. Oh shit. Um. I don't know who I should attack again. Should I attack this thing or should I attack Bab Cacta? This dude is going. He has a range of four. Damn. But if I get in his way, he's actually gonna have to fight me. So I can take out the, the Bab Cacta. The thing is, if he tries to target Fumi, Fumi can retaliate from this distance, which is really good. So definitely, we're going to come up here and have Fumi get her hustle on, get her hustle on. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, Kresnik. Hmm. They're weak against fire, so we should try fire dance. For sure. And we're going to do multi-strike for the win. And we're gonna brutal hit with Moloch right here. Better than that, just regularly attack. We don't need to be wasting HP right now. Oh my god. <laughs> if I knew, like her RNG, Fumi's RNG is just on clutch mode. I swear to goodness it is. It's, it stay on clutch, which is hilarious. So we should be able to come up here and just attack. Because I have multi-strike, it's not going to matter. going to attack one of these misers, though. No, he doesn't have, uh... The Sokka doesn't have, uh, Pierce. Well, it'd be kind of a waste. So, Holy Dance. The more we defeat, the more HP and MP we get back. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. HP and MP, but Thrones! The Thrones is the man! The Thrones! We cover an HP and MP. I don't know what to say. I guess we're gonna keep everybody on this side. These two on that side, and then Suzaku and Fumi are gonna be on that side. She should be able to retaliate because she's so close to him. So what we need to do, fire dance, Aggie dance, and just defend with Moloch. Just to be on the safe side. Oh my god! Uh. You miss! Anger hit don't work! Not on us, fool! I'ma ask you to try again, motherfucker! <laughs> try again, tentacle! Uh, uh. That's a lot of MP we was getting back, simply due to the fact of how much damage we deal. Depending on how much damage we deal, depends on like how much MP we recover. My goodness, we gotta deal with that Abaddon coming up too. Shit, um... Wow, she actually went for here. Oh, and they get to go twice? How do you get the attack from that far? How do they get the attack from that far? 
and get extra turns. Man, that's some old bullshit. But you know what? They was being dumb and going after Kresnik. Kresnik's like, dude, I nullify this shit, homie. Like, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. This fight is looking pretty free right now. I'm just saying. I'm actually going to use Miragi. And we're going to have her drain. You know what? Hectate just guard. We don't want to waste a lot of MP. We're going to be doing mad damage regardless. Because Miragi and his high attack. You're attacking the wrong person. What are they doing? So Hecate, he's going to definitely heal Skatash. Better yet, I'm actually going to Holy Dance for the guaranteed win. And he's going to Dairahan for Skatash. Oh my god, it was not the guaranteed win. It's okay, I'm, I'm right next to him, so he's not gonna be able to... Yeah, if he attacks next turn, he's dead. That's the dude we gotta worry about, slowly creeping his way up here. So EO, get the business, yo. EO is putting in mad work. And she doesn't even have a tyrant, either. Agidine, of course we want to drain. And then, of course, assassinate. Ah, oh, shit! Woo! What the hell? When did he get Petra eyes? Like, the further we beat him down, like, the more OD shit he gets. Oh my god, we gotta finish this dude off right now. Alright. Holy cow, this dude. Who thinks he's getting stronger the further we get? Damn, we destroyed his arm! Bruh! I don't even know what to, how to feel right now. Your phone rings. We have a problem. The dragon stream is fading faster than expected. You must finish this fight as soon as possible. Jeez! Oh my god, did he get increased range? Hustle, we gotta be dodging, yo. Oh yeah, no extra turn for you because you on that bullshit. You on that Shimigami Tensei bullshit. <laughs> you don't appreciate that. This dude pretty much had to attack me that way because if he wanted to do a damage, he had to get past his friend. But the thing is, if he got past his friend, he was going to be close to Fumi. And now we can just go ham with Fire Dance and then we can just multi strike if we want. But we're not because we want to save MP here. So we're going to Agidine and then Moloch. Uh, we're just going to guard. Oh, get out of here. Oh, oh. Trying to lump up Fumi. I got hustle. <laughs> Crazy Nick is. <laughs> wow, this shit. We got the right demons for this fight. This is so ridiculous how good we... everything just turned out. Bruh. Like, Fumi is getting her MP back because we got a tyrant. We just got another skill set. Are you kidding me? Alright. We shoot. Oh man, as long as they miss, I'll be happy. As long as they make dumb decisions like that, I'll be happy here. Uh, he ain't getting an extra turn. They messed up. They didn't farmed up. Wait. Quick grow. Oh no, we left them alive too long. It's acting strangely again. That's when it's got plans to get even larger. Shit. We're gonna have these two stay over here, definitely. Um, we have to go after this guy. I don't appreciate the fact that he's trying to uh get bigger. He's trying to split. Drano. I was hoping. She would be able to drain them to death. Alright, get out of there. Woo! Alright. Quick growth. Ah! This shit again. Oh my god, dude. How much range does this guy have? He can only move one, so one, one, two, three. 
Ain't that about a bitch? Ain't that about a bitch? These dudes can only move one, so one and then one, two, three. Suzaku, I, I have to defeat this guy. The thing is, if I do, she's gonna be compromised to like a beating, a world of hurting. She's gonna be compromised to a beatdown. I gotta do it. I don't want this dude splitting apart again. If I go up here, I'll be able to move one and then... I'd still be safe if I move right next to him. Alright, Fumi, Fumi, Fumi. What are our options right now? We have True Phantasma. So, the, I think the best thing to do... Cause I'm going to get attacked from this guy. To be honest, and that's gonna suck. And he goes next, he goes right after Abaddon. I think the best thing I could possibly do is move right here, and then he has, he can only move one, and then one, two, three, he can still attack. Either way, either way, he'd still be able to get me. One, two, three. So, you know what? Let's play it safe. And by play it safe, let's be extremely reckless right here. Let's attack. I have two Phantasma, so I can attack this goon right here, right? And then I can true Phantasma right behind my boy, Suzaku, which would put us in a safe distance. So we gotta play it safe. Unfortunately. Honestly, I'm actually gonna Daraha Moloch, and then he's gonna multi-strike. Then he's gonna assassinate. Oh my god, he freaking missed. But he still has an extra turn. It's all good. It's all gravy. Might as well mo mighty hit. Oh boy, I hope that killed him and not made him split. Okay. Okay, I still don't know the mechanics behind that. But right now, Kresnik, True Phantasma, <laughs> right behind your boy Suzaku. Suzaku's gonna take out the Abaddon. Shit, we still have to... We have to be aware of everything that's going on. Fumi's gonna be able to move up with True Phantasma and then be able to... Essentially, move over and then attack him, and hopefully that'll be the end of this that, this fight. Holy dance, screw it. Holy dance, go ham. Holy dance, holy dance, holy dance, pants. Holy dance, holy dance. Come on, we need everything on clutch mode right now. Ooh, nullified that sucker. Thank you. We need to heal her. So what we're gonna do? Damn. Magic, hell yeah, dude. My magic is looking like uh, your boy Sayonara. <laughs> He's starting to uh, look like Sayonara every day now. So we're gonna have her heal herself. Fumi, we really need to get up there really quick. Just in case this battle ends next turn or some shit, we gotta finish it right now. Here we go. Thing is, this dude can really screw us over. But Fumi nullifies that nonsense he can do with Petra Eyes. What the hell is Star Pressure? I don't know, but we gotta. We really gotta put. We gotta put an end to his nonsense. Mighty hit. Get to assassinate, too. I. Wow! Star pressure. You might as well just call it star power. Like, jeez. Nice. He said, I gotta clutch it. I have to. I have to clutch. Come on, give up already. Come on, get eight. Mission complete. Mission complete. Let's go. Yes. The dragon is gonna swallow the guy! Oh, it's a marble! What is happening? 
Ooh, you got swallowed, dog. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> That was like the second cutscene that was on the top screen, by the way. Uh, we ain't gotta fight him, do we? He was like, oh, I'm full, dude. I'm full. Oh. <laughs> oh. I got the itis. <laughs> they should call Stone the itis. <laughs> just, whoa! The head just kind of plopped there. It's not moving. Is it dead? Did it eat too much? Pretty much. That was an amazing swallow. The dragon chowed down like an expert speed eater. A speed eater? <laughs> Your cell phone rings. Can you all hear me? Mizar has been completely eliminated. You have won. Seriously? Hells yeah! We did it! <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with me, you miserable Mizar. <laughs> First of all, well done. Thank you, bro. I thank my demons, too. The pawns may be celebrating, but surely you understand. Time is short. You gotta get those fate levels up to four. I was just informed that Yokohama City was swallowed by the void. And that's not the only one. That's outside. Miyashita. You have a valid point. It's very close. Oh boy. The void was never expanding at the same speed in all directions. The barrier's collapse has triggered steady incursion by the void. There is no more time. I will begin gathering allies to wipe out the other factions. I don't know if you will side with me or not, but I have high expectations. Of course, man. I'm gonna side with you, Nam Live. <laughs> oh my god. Mizar has been defeated, yet the Dragon Stream can no longer protect the cities from the Void. You're all screwed. We won! It was close, but we pulled through yet again. Yup, the power of multi-strike wins again. If we can keep this up, then whatever the next enemy is, I'm sure we can rock it. Rock it like a dragon. Oh, right. Before we start talking about the next enemy, there's another problem to deal with. Yep. Factions. Yeah, I get the feeling it's going to be a big problem soon. I'm not really feeling the merit system or the whole forced equality thing. I feel you, Daichi. What about you? Have you made up your mind which way to go? I've decided already. Seriously? Wow, you don't mess around, huh? Yup. I... I guess I'll think about it a little more. Why don't you go check on the others? You say your farewell, the Daichi... Before leaving. 